welcome to the news show. I'm Artie Sequera. This week it's brought to you by the letter H. The letter H. We'd be an L without me. The letter H. Our top story. AIG shareholders are suing the insurance giant, demanding the return of hundreds of millions of dollars in bonuses, perks and dividends. A third of that bonus money has been returned, but we here at the news show would like to say that everybody is completely overreacting and there's nothing wrong with <laughs> I can't read. And now I'd like my bonus, please. But hey, it's not all bad, AIG. Due to their ubiquitous presence in the 24-hour news cycle, AIG has broken into the top three U.S. companies in terms of brand awareness, joining McDonald's and Coca-Cola. They are, however, in the bottom three of consumer approval, right between Jeremiah Smith's Force Colonics and Schick's Razors for Halloween apples only. Eating red meat increases the chances of dying prematurely, according to a new decade-long federal study. But especially if that red meat is carnivorous, still alive, and much, much larger than you. And now a word from our sponsor. The health care bills of Alzheimer patients are more than triple those of other older people, a new report suggests. And the sad thing is, it's not that it costs more, it's that the doctors just know the patient isn't likely to remember the actual amount. Reem Assad, a finance lecturer, has turned her attention to the lingerie industry in her native Saudi Arabia. She's pushing for women to be hired in the almost exclusively male-occupied sales positions. Her efforts have already yielded a sharp turn in the style of undergarments. Seen here is the Jamila bra and panty set, the serendipity teddy, and here the Adara. Oh, that's the one. A study by Johns Hopkins revealed this week that circumcision may, in fact, reduce the risk of contracting STDs, including HPV and HIV, but still not as effectively as castration. And lest you forget our sponsor, the letter H. Hey, Americans, pronounce me. Herb. 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 The letter H. Watchman Weeds and Grey's Anatomy star Jeffrey Dean Morgan discovered this week he has a four-year-old son. Owing to his typecasting experience, he immediately faked his own death. Complex magazine this week posted an as-yet unphotoshopped picture of Kim Kardashian, only to replace it hours later. But the internet was already abuzz, and here's why. This is the Photoshop pic. And this is the untouched version. Oh dear. Amy Winehouse's latest recordings have been turned down by her record label, reportedly because they were not fans of the reggae direction her sound had taken. Oh right, because it's her music that's the problem. And that's it for the news show. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.